Hello everybody. My name is Blueberry Jeans. You can call me Blue. And welcome to our new Let's Play. Welcome to Celeste. Uh, this game is, uh, is a platformer. Uh, known as, you know, tough as nails platformer. Uh, it's an indie game. I probably have made an intro, like, announcement video and talked enough about uh, what this game is and anything like that. So I'm not going to waste your time. Let's get right into it. Uh, we can name the main character here. Uh, we can rename her if we want to something else. But we're going to stick with the canon name uh, of Madeline. Uh, or Madeline. However. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say whatever I end up saying. Let's begin. This is it, Madeline. Just breathe. Why are you so nervous? Welcome to the game. Uh, on this first screen right here, you can head left and uh, see your car. Uh, but also on the screen, there's actually uh, a cheat code you can input on, I believe, both uh, on both computer and console versions of the game. If I'm editing this like I plan to be, there should be a bit on screen now showing what that uh, what that code is. Uh, if you want to do it yourself, that will unlock cheat mode, uh, which will just unlock all the levels uh, in the game without unlocking any of the collectibles. Uh, so yeah, just a bit of uh, information right there, and of course. We love Prologue Car. I mean, look at that. That's a, that's a car, all right. That sure is the car ever. Uh, we love Pro Prologue Car in this house. Rude. Uh, up here, we got some birds. They don't do anything, but they look nice, and it's fun to go up here. Uh, I'm a bird or whatever. Speaking of bird, I felt some... <laughs> Oh no, I died in prologue. Okay. <laughs> so yes, we can climb uh, with the uh, trigger buttons or the shoulder buttons. That's a great sign, dying in the prologue. You know how it is with Let's Plays. Excuse me, ma'am? The sign out front is busted. Is this the mountain trail? <laughs> You're almost there. It's just across the bridge. By the way, you should call someone about your driveway. The ridge collapsed and I nearly died. <laughs> if my driveway almost did you in, the mountain might be in it too much for you. <laughs> well, if no bat like you can survive out here, I think I'll be fine. Suit yourself. But you should know, Celeste Mountain is a strange place. You might see things. Things you ain't ready to see. You should seek help, lady. <laughs> this is a normal driveway where nothing bad Oh no, something bad happened! Oh. Uh, let's make it across here. You can do this. And that's the prologue. Uh, we got our world map here. You can move around with the le uh, not left. I know my directions. The right joystick, the normal camera one. Uh, but not much to say here. Let's hop into chapter one, Forsaken City. To Madeline. Uh, select save. Oh, I can't talk. Select save and quit from the pause menu at any time to take a break. You'll resume at the same screen, and you won't lose any progress. As a sticker up there, uh, or stamp up there implies, this game does take place in Canada. So, that's a fun thing to specify. So, welcome to the game proper. As the, uh, end of that, uh, end of the prologue suggested, we now have a dash. Uh, you can do it in eight directions. Uh, any eight directions you want. Uh, and it'll boost you. Uh, up here, we have a strawberry. This is the game's main collectibles uh, that you can find around the uh, find around the different levels. 
Uh, they're just little uh, optional quick challenges for the platforming if you would like to engage with them. Up here, we have this... Oh my goodness, that's unfortunate. <laughs> um, we have a stoplight block, as it is called by most people. It doesn't have an official name. Uh, as you can see, it'll move you across a set pathway whenever you step on it. And this game does also have momentum. Uh, so these things uh, will uh, give you a boost of momentum. Uh, also, I'm going to apologize. I'm going to be, like, saying a lot of stuff in this episode. I, like, <laughs> it's going to be information overload a little bit, and I'm so sorry about that. I'm a very informational, like, walkthrough kind of person on my videos if you've never seen my stuff before. Anyway, this is a winged strawberry. Uh, it's another type of strawberry, another collectible. Uh, however, if you dash, it will disappear, uh, and you'll have to die again to, to retry it. Uh, kind of implied by these signs right here. That's that kind of, uh, uh, I forgot the word for it, so I'm going to not talk about that anymore. <laughs> I'm going to give up, and it is that easy. Uh, so, another thing to mention with the, uh, with the dash is, uh, if you notice, whenever Madeline dashes, her, her hair, uh, becomes blue. Uh, that is to signify that she cannot dash again, uh, and you will only regain your red hair and your dash whenever you hit, uh, solid ground. Uh, what counts as solid ground varies a lot, but mainly it's pretty easy to... It's usually pretty easy to figure it out. Uh, the other place that you can regain your dash from is springs right here. Uh, they will immediately replenish your dash upon landing uh, on them. And a third place to replenish your dash is with these. Uh, they are dash crystals. Uh, they are green. I'm jumping into a ceiling. Uh, they are green, and uh, when you hit them, they will replenish your, da your dash. I haven't recorded a video in a while, could you tell? <laughs> uh. Ho oh, there, fellow traveler! Oh, hi. What a killer night for a hike. I guess so. This place is so crazy. I kind of can't believe it exists. Not the easiest climb, is it? But I guess that's what I was looking for. Whoa, that sounds pretty intense. Serious, even. I'm just happy to see another human in such a lonely place. I'm Theo, by the way. An adventurer from a far-off land. Not much of a talker, are you? Mysterious lone wolf type, I get it. I'll just imagine some dark backstory for you, I guess. Hey, sorry, I'm Madeline. I've got a lot on my mind. Well, Madeline, I'd say you come to the right, right place. Oh, okay. I'm freezing my toes off, but I can't imagine a better place to be for some quiet reflection. Yeah, maybe you're right. What far-off land do you hail from? Well, my inquisitive compatriot, I doth hail from the mystical, exotic kingdom of Seattle. It sounds like a special place. This place is wild! Why would an entire city be abandoned? I've read that some mega corporation started building it, but then no one wanted to live here. I wonder why. My money's on a government cover-up. A waste. Build all this for no reason. At least we get to enjoy the leftovers. Are you here to explore this city? Yeah, I have a thing for abandoned places. And I like to think of myself as a budding photographer. Oh, really? Cool! Do you have a blog or something? A blog? Madeline. Everyone uses Instapix now. I'm Theo Understars, look me up! Uh, Theo does actually have a real Instagram account uh, that I will be covering later. This terrain is pretty tricky. Are you turning back soon? Nope. I'm heading for the summit. I can really see the determination in your eyes. It's inspiring. If you say so. I bet you could make it to the summit too. Uh, maybe. I don't really care about reaching the top. But reaching the top, TBH. Oh, but I heard there are some legit old ruins beyond the city. Like, 1800s legit. I know it's risky, but I have to see them for myself. 
What's that thing you say right before you do something irresponsible? Uh, throw caution to the wind? No, that's that's not it. Oh, right. I love that sound bite. <laughs> it's really good little sound. <laughs> uh, it's is very uh, entertaining. Uh, anyway. Ah, uh, you know what? Actually, no. Hold on. I'm gonna s stick around here with Theo. Uh, I think this is probably where we're going to end off of this uh, first episode. Uh, I hate that I can only do like 15 minutes at a time right now. I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix that, but it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode of Celeste. Uh, next time we're going to be hopefully finishing off chapter one. Uh, so, I will see you all then.